Okay, so let's talk about rearrangements. The key idea here is that carbocations are unstable species. They're very high energy. And so when they form, if there's any possibility for a rearrangement that might lead to a more stable species, uh, we see that that is indeed what happens with the molecule. Okay, so let's look at an example. So in this case, we have a secondary alpha carbon. And if that carbon leaving group bond breaks, we get to a secondary carbocation intermediate. So that's one of the less stable ones. We know that resonance stabilized or tertiary carbocation intermediates would be more stable. So here's where the rearrangement comes in. For example, here, the carbon-hydrogen bond will be attracted to the carbocation intermediate. If those orbitals overlap, that hydride, the hydrogen with its electrons, can shift right over to that carbocation, forming a new bond between the secondary carbon and the hydrogen atom. Now there's a deficit of electrons on the left-hand carbon, which is a tertiary carbon, so that process has resulted in a stabilization of the carbocations. So the bottom line, remember that carbocations are unstable. When they form, they will rearrange if there's a possibility of, of leading to a more stable uh, species. That can lead to mixtures of products as we've seen in the E1 and SN1 reactions anyway. Always look for those rearrangements first at the point of generation of that carbocation.